Right, hey guys, Trif Crystal here today with, and we're back with some more Sound of Life Season 2, Episode 7. So last episode got blocked again. I give up with this company. So I'm going to fade the video a bit more than usual, but my thoughts on last episode is Truck Con had to go kill someone again. I'm glad they didn't resolve the conflict in just one episode, because this one seems like a quite deep-rooted con conflict for the teacher. Um, so I'm glad they didn't... I'm glad we got some progress, and we got some sort of maybe some mild understanding, but I'm glad that she didn't this whole thing weren't solved in one episode because some things i like it being done quick because i think like you know that non-problems or non-confrontations need to be dealt with quick uh where something like this is very deep rooted into a character since she was a kid so for it to be fixed in one episode just wouldn't feel right so i'm glad they've carried it on and yeah i'm, I'm really pleased that satawa got out there and got to tr try to get her thoughts out there and try and get her understanding across but it wasn't enough to get through the only probably way to get through is through music probably but i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with this character but yeah last episode was fun trucking killing more families and not, um this put destroying more families with its speed but guys hopefully enjoyed the reaction if you do leave a like subscribe and let's jump into another episode i've can't stop i've got a sound of life <laughs> this old lady is the best villain ever isn't she i fucking hate her <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I love this guy. He's so threatening, but he's he's always looking out for his team, which I love. So for him saying asking for a reason meant that he de generally thinks that she's doing the right job. Can't wait till our eyes are actually full of life again. <laughs> he knows how to buy time to keep her around. Ah shit, if they're the same age. <laughs> Sorry, I just love shipping people. <laughs> nah, he was being honest. I love that guy. He's grown up so much from like episode one. Well, when he was ever introduced, I think it's a couple episodes in. The music will get to you, love. Just needs to reach you in a dark place. Yay, life in her eyes. Yes. If Sotawa couldn't change her, the whole club can. Sotawa is just the definition of a dwarf, wouldn't she? <laughs> the eyes. He'll overcome it. He's definitely one of, these, one of the better out of the three friends. Oh, bless him. Ah, oh, the demon's one's consuming him. You free him from the cloud. Because he has two friends to stop him from being consumed, where she didn't. She just had herself. Good damn. Poor girl. Yes, the lie. Friendship can get you further. Mate, doesn't this show just make you wish you had such a solid group of friends? It's like she's getting over hurdles slowly by watching him, which is nice. I'm happy for my guy, well done. <laughs> Fucking hell, the imagery. Is she crying? Yes. No, oh, bless her. <laughs> Everyone gathers round. <laughs> I don't know, fuck's sake. <laughs> They're so oblivious. <laughs> Mate, I'm ready for the big performance again already. No matter what the performance, it gets me excited for the performance, to be fair. I won't overly cut it this time like I did for the first one. God damn, you guys did not let that go. I love how he's like, I'm going to keep you in this club. Wow, she's so adorable, god damn. She breaks my heart. 
She had a really good season this season. Like Chica got a lot of the focus last. Seems Sato was getting a lot more this season. We're in sync, baby. Is everyone gonna be crying now? Yeah. <laughs> tears. Ooh. Hey, there we go. A softened look. <laughs> I swear these these guys have probably made fun of the earth with their tears. I love it. It's good to see him inspired by music again, because obviously he fell out, fell out, fell out with it then for a while. Nani? No, oh, go away, Grandma. I don't want to deal with you. God, she's so annoying. Oh, come on. I hope she like, stands up for him. That made my day. Yes, yeah, so Okuri. Okay, I kill ya. Oof. That's the worst kind of reply you got. She didn't even agree with you. Your plan's backfiring. No, uh, well, we know what he's going to do now. <laughs> you stupid head. Ooh. Man's jealous. He'll get the skill too because a quick learner. That ridiculously quick learner. <sighs> Well, let's go on a date. Because... <laughs> I don't really care what you think, but I'm serious. What a savage. I love him. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Man's just the top geese. Maybe she's going through a little cheeky character arc. I'm enjoying it. I guess you guys were right in episode so five. That she's a good character. I won't show her at first, but she's cool. Plus, the potential shit for the sensei. That's all I care about. Oh, mate. He is a, the best. The best around. Oh, the bow. Welcome back. Mate, he looked genuinely happy there. That's a shocker. Mate, I love that guy. He's a fucking geese. <laughs> yeah, she is. What trouble is she going to cause, Miss Grandma? What's she going to do, the scrub? Ah, she's going to annoy me, isn't she? <laughs> God damn it, you old lady. You old hag. You always say respect your elders. There's a limit. No, you know what? Good episode. I felt like we overcome her darkness really well there. Actually, I thought they did enough. They did enough for me to be believable. Like, yes, I wouldn't drag her out of her slums. I wonder what the grandma's going to do to be a final wreck. I really love this. This episode really get me to appreciate the sensei even more. I now ship Akira's Akira and him. I know I'm now an official ship of that ship. It ship has sailed for me. They need to go out now. Um, they need to do a massive date episode where all the characters go on. They need to do a Valentine's Day episode. And then this will be the greatest show of one, I'm sure. But no, um, it was definitely a fun episode. It was a fun episode. I enjoyed the um, the progress people made, the sort of like motivation, just showing it like what how a group of friends can really help you out. Like I feel like what she what didn't help her out, she didn't have any friends to keep saying he keep going. She had a fucking horrible grandmother that was just like <clears throat> pushing her too far and it just put her in that darkened state. But I'm glad she's coming out of it. I don't know if it's totally over yet. It depends on what the grandma's going to do. But overall, fun episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and peace. Thank you for watching the video, guys. As always, I'm much appreciated. Feel free to check out Patreon if you want early access and all cuts. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content. Along with, I've got a playlist and best match for you. Hopefully you enjoy the content. Continue enjoying the content, guys. And yeah, hope to see you in the next one.